David, are you all right? Am I all right? I should be asking you. Oh, I'm so sorry I hurt you. I don't know what happened. Don't worry. I faced much worse in the asylum. She's tough. I don't think it's possible to face her. Sorry again. Maybe don't leave me outside like a naughty puppy next time. Yes, quite. I think that Edward may be responsible for the death of my Aunt Cecilia. Not directly. She drowned herself in the lock. I think that Edward drove her to it. Old families usually have a skeleton or two in the cupboard. Yes, but my family has a graveyard full. I feel like the madness that runs through this family, through these walls, is, is starting to seep into me too. I can help you, but you need to open up. You need to start talking to me. Uh, you would not believe me if I told you. Stubborn. Just like your father. Whatever secret this family is hiding, it's costing lives. Cecilia, the maid, my father. We have to put a stop to this. We need to find out what happened to the maid tonight. What is it, David? I have to see. David, wait! You have to start confiding in me, David. What are you seeing? I can see echoes. Memories of those who lived here. I see my father as a young boy. He's trying to communicate with me. Perhaps you visited here as a child. Maybe you're remembering stories your father told you of this place when you were young. You see? I said you wouldn't believe me. If I'm only remembering things, how would I have known where to find a pendant? How could I have known he tried to force himself on her? Unless you think I killed her. I don't think you killed anyone, David. And you're right. I can't explain it. So? So, we focus on the facts as we know them. Go on. You saw the maid's body. Her neck was broken. That was the work of a human, not a ghost, yes? I, I suppose so, yes. Lady Margaret knows more than she's saying, that's for sure. Godspeed getting anything out of that old hag. No, I know. But Eddie might be an easier option. Yes. Yes, we need to find him. And make sure Margaret isn't there to interrupt. I believe she's already gone to bed, but I'll check. You go find Eddie. Well, that's clear enough. Well, hello, my dear Elsa. Oh, Sir Edward, you look very handsome today. Eddie? Why, thank you. You are as beautiful as ever, my little doll. Oh, mwah, mwah.
self-made dolls. Ugh. The stuff of nightmares. Eddie, can you hear me? What can you tell me about Great Grandmother Rose? What did Elsa have to do? Daddy! What do you see here, Eddie? Be quite safe, the little rabbit said to his brothers and sisters. The fox is fast asleep, so the rabbits tiptoed past, but the fox was sly. He wasn't asleep at all. He opened his eyes. I've worked you before to mind your place. This will be the last time you defy me. The eyes of the fox, they shone with cruel light as he punched on the rabbits and ate them all, one by one. It was only then he went to sleep, his tummy full, his heart content. I wonder what's on the other side. Is there... Uh, no, can't see a switch or lever. I guess not all castles are like Edgar Allan Poe used to describe them. A secret passage. What do you think you're doing? That won't be long, I hope. Look after Eddie. Just a little further. That's it. Open wide. Good, good. I don't I want any. That's all right, dear. Did I tell you that John's son David has arrived? He's as bothersome as his father. Not worthy of this place. Poor Angus will never recover from the sight of John's charred remains. Selfish, selfish man. Please. I do not enjoy this, as you well know, but you brought it on yourself. Your son was a good man. You should not have defied him. She's still alive. I the switch. It was in the bookcase. You scared me half to death. Well, you will insist on wandering off without telling me where you're going, and I just managed to avoid Lady Margaret when... <laughs> Jesus God! I saw this. In a vision? Edward beat her with it. Used it to cripple the poor woman. Oh, my God. And he hung it there to remind her every day. Take it down. You're sure? Do it! Uh. 
Thank you. Thank you. Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rose? Rosemary? Can you hear me? Rosemary, I'm David, John's son, your great-grandson. Here, try this. No, like this. Gently. Who did this to you? Edward. I was bad. Disobeyed. Disobeyed? How did you disobey? Cecilia. I tried to stop him. Stop what he was doing. What was he doing, Rosemary? Should not have disobeyed. <laughs> Not disturb him in the old wing. Never talk back. Rose! Rose! What did he do to Cecilia? I don't think you'll get anything more out of her. Poor woman. Come on, Lady Rosemary. We'll get you out of here. No! We can get you somewhere safe. I'm safe here. In this room. Safe from the black mirror. <laughs> the black mirror. Margaret has a lot to explain. I think we need to have words with her ladyship. Margaret, we need to talk about... Lady Margaret, if you please. Never mind that. What the hell are you doing with Rosemary? You'll want to talk. You're just like your father, leaving nothing but fear and misery in your wake. What in God's name are you talking about? You spoke to young Eddie, did you not? Now he's convinced everyone is trying to kill him. He has taken poor Andrew hostage and is threatening his life. Where is he? He's taken him to the old wing, and he is armed. I'll go. I can talk to him. You will not. You two have caused quite enough trouble already. We? How dare you, when you continue to worship Edward, even though he drove poor Cecilia to drown herself? I will not allow you to... To what? To speak the truth? To say that Edward... He never touched her! You come here. And you... 
No, you. You are the one in the wrong here. You know more than you're saying, and we both know it. There's something in this place. An evil that has plagued our family for generations. Instead of blaming others, maybe you should look closer to home for the cause of your misfortune. You know nothing. What I did, what I do, everything, everything is for this family. How can you possibly understand? Please, my lady, we can discuss this later. Miss Farber, you need to speak to Master Eddie. Take us to him. This way. Uh, have a care in the old wing. It isn't used, and for good reason. A section of wall fell into the sea some years back, and the rest is falling to ruin. Over there, sir. Eddie? No! No! They're after me! All of them! Trying to kill me! No! Please help! Eddie, look at me, Eddie. Just at me. It's going to be all right. Stay back here. I'll try to reason with him. You will not. This is what I do. 